Hey everybody, I'm JJ, you're watching Reality Survival. So today I'm gonna to show you the All Powers 400 watt um, solar panel setup. So this is, as far as I know, it's the cheapest solar panel setup for 400 watts that I could find. Now, today <laughs> is absolutely the worst day possible to test solar panels. <laughs> so I don't think that we can hold that against them on this. I'm going to have to, to, to do some testing when the sun's out on another day to see what sort of output they get. Um, right now they're facing south, they're propped up, but the overcast conditions are, are just ridiculous. Um, there's hardly any sun out here. So we've got this plugged into the Yolanis uh, Sappy 1600 and um, seems to be a good little unit so far, but I want to talk about the, the solar panels primarily here. So these are, uh, I will call them semi-flexible, not really. I mean, they can kind of curve, you know, like they're not going not gonna to break if you, if you get a little bend in them. Um, they're all sewn together on this, in this large um, kind of package together. And as you can see on the back, it's got a pouch right here to keep all your cables and everything like that in. And that's where your MC4 connectors, uh, the wires come out. Let me come over here so you can see that a little better. Um, now, I like this for the simplicity's sake that it's just real easy. You got red and black, um, positive, negative, you know, no big deal. The problem is, is you cannot change the wiring configuration of the panels so you're only going to get the um this one configuration where it gives you 400 watts of uh power with what is it 37.4 volts so you can't put them in uh, can't change it from parallel um or anything like that and um, or into series, you know, you can't swap it. It's just, this is the configuration that you get F up to 400 Watts, 37.4 volts for the maximum power voltage. Um, the, the open circuit vol voltage is 45.3 and the maximum power current is 10.6 amps with a 19 to 22% energy confer conversion rate. And it says you can operate them from negative 10 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. The size on these, when it's opened like this, it is 41 and a quarter inches by 104 and three quarters. And then uh, the folded up size is 41 and a quarter by about, uh, let's see, 21 we'll say almost 21 inches so that's sort of the specs so let's, let's see on a on a really overcast day what this thing is producing as far as power 16 whopping watts <laughs> that's not good that's going to take a long time to charge up <laughs> so uh you don't want to use these in cloudy overcast conditions like this if you live uh, somewhere where you get a lot of um, rain and, and cloudy days, like Seattle or um, you know someplace else where there's a lot of overcast, I don't I don't think these are going to be the you know uh, type of panels that you want to mess with. If you're looking for something to use in a sunny environment, I f I imagine that it will probably work a lot better. Again, we'll do some follow-on testing to see what sort of output they put out when it's actually really sunny with a bright sunny day i really i don't i don't think we can hold it against it for for the way that it's performing right now because this is just grayness you can't even really see where the sun is it's up there somewhere but you can't even <laughs> you can't even really see it um so let me go ahead and fold this up for you and show you the form factor on what it looks like folded up before i do you just notice that it does have some built-in kickstands and then it does also have in some uh little loops paracord loops so that if you wanted to hang it up into like strap it down on a roof of an rv or um 
you know, hang it from a tree or something, you know, you could do that potentially too. Um, I'm not sure exactly how or why you'd use that. This seems to be the, the most logical configuration to me, but you know, who knows? Um, I might be able to do this with the camera on. Let me see here. It's pretty easy. You just bring over these two. So you bring, bring over the two and then you fold that one one more time and then uh, you fold this one and then that's it. Um, we need to uh, unplug this. There we go. And then we take these little straps and just pop it in. There we go. And then I'll have to uh, disconnect the MC4 connectors. That's a little bit of a pain, but for now, I'm just going to leave it plugged in there because that's the one I'm probably going to always use. Uh, let's see here. Stuff these. And there you go. So that's the handle. It's pretty well reinforced. Um, it's got some cross stitching on there. And then this, this is a piece of heavier duty nylon right here along this seam that's kind of sewn in to, to hold everything. These buckles are not the strongest down here, but all they gotta do is just hold it together. And then you've got, what I did think was nice, is you've got all your your specs, you know, right there on the outside, so you kinda know. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as the form factor, it weighs about 41 pounds. You know, I can just kinda walk with it. It's, it's heavy, but it's not terrible. Um, overall, for the price, for what I got it for, I think it's a fairly decent deal, barring I haven't had the opportunity to see exactly what the output is, is going to be on a normal Sunday. But as far as the form factor goes, how it handles, how it packs up, you know, the shipping, it came good. Um, the cables look like they're high quality cables. It also comes with a, uh, the, the, I'll show you the 55 21 12 volt cables so you've got this end to plug into you know some solar generators take those like the blue yetis i do and i know and then you've also got the bigger one that is an adapter uh, for it and then, like i said you got the xt60 cable that'll go into the like the Yolanis. and then it comes with eight of these little carabiners as well um, and that's pretty much all that it comes with. It doesn't really have any other items, but I like the form factor, you know. I like the, the slimness of it, that I can just pack it in the back of the truck or, you know, something like that if I'm going to take it camping or, or whatever the case may be um, for a bug out kind of situation or whatever. But I wanted to... I wanted to get something that was portable so that I could take it with me with the, the little solar generator if I wanted to. And I think it's gonna fill the bill pretty well. Right now on Amazon, um, you know, it's just, it's just the Black Friday week or whatever, they've got a $140 coupon. So I'll put a link to that down in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. You can get it for 400 bucks. Um, so about a dollar a watt and it has the the portable form factor in there which you know um you would want to get a better price than a dollar a watt for like a, a a traditional panel but given the fact that this is portable i think that's reasonable as long as they perform at least somewhat as they're advertised now again i don't know <laughs> i'll have to check that out uh, the ratings on them uh, on Amazon were pretty decent, I think. So I don't anticipate that it's completely off base, but you never know. So anyhow, that is that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe.